<laughs> Mine's mostly ale. Finn and Cotter. And if it froze okay. on the... Well, that was rather mysterious. A stranger arrives and you're chatting him up. Someone said it was your uncle looking for you. Well, what did he want? Looked like you two had a lot to talk about. Must have been important to come to Castle Black. He happened yes. to be nearby. Thought he'd say hello. This is about the last place anyone would want to visit. It looked like he gave you something. It, it was nothing. Let's go and celebrate. Already keeping secrets from your brothers, eh? Ah, uh, Garrett's right. The wall's gonna melt before we get up there. Come on. <laughs> Super secret secrets. Oh, oh, oh. Something happened. There we go. Loading screen. Still on the loading screen. Oh shit. There are so many Things guests coming. already arriving. Oh no. And have you seen the wedding decorations they put up in the gardens? Oh no. So beautiful. The wedding. You know, we're as lucky as she is. Marjorie was but a lady when we were sent to serve at High Garden. But in just a few days' time, we'll be attending to a queen at a royal feast. Where we're standing, we'll be able to see everyone. And everyone will be able to see us. Sarah, it will be Marjorie's day, not ours. Yes, Sarah. I, I know. I, I didn't mean anything by it. I've been meaning to say what I told you about my family. Being a bastard. It means a lot to be able to share that with someone. Someone I can trust. Careful Sarah, you, trust. you should be careful who you trust around here. Secrets can be dangerous in the wrong hands. I'll certainly be more careful in the future. Hold on, look. There he is. Lord Morgren? No, no, next to him. Lord Tarwick. I don't want to be a handmaiden forever. And this wedding may be the best chance of meeting a husband I'll ever have. I have but to go talk bastard. to him. Marjorie won't notice it for a few minutes longer. Could you make an excuse for me? Please. Do you think that's why? Are you sure you know what you're doing, Sarah? No, Marjorie's she so busy. I can't just wait for her to find a match for me. Please, just don't tell Marjorie. You keep asking all these things of me. Oh, there's that urchin kid again. Stop following me! No! What do you think you're doing? I know I shouldn't be here, but we have to talk. Not out here! You're putting us both in danger. I couldn't risk waiting. I needed to warn you. I was down in Flea Bottom last night when I overheard a couple of Lannister guards talking about... Shh! They already know he's missing. Probably dead. They're questioning people. Searching for his body. Please tell me you took care of it. Of course. I told you I would. No one will know what you did. What? What is it? If we're going to survive this... I, I still have his knife. Oh, oh, no. Just keep it hidden and clean the blood off it. Meantime, just stay out of sight. How? Do you forget who I serve? Just don't get in any more trouble. And I'll... I'll watch your back. We're in this together now. Why are you helping me? What do you mean? I'm a friend, Lady Mira. My name's Tom. We help each other. Or it's both our heads. What were you even doing there that night? I once told you. There are people who'd be willing to help you. People who want you alive. 
I'm here to make sure that happens. Wait, what? You mean someone... Mira? My lady. Really? A tryst in the bushes with that coal boy? Not to say it's wrong, but with all the lords and knights in King's Landing, truly, it's nothing, Sarah. He's definitely a friend. Nothing. Really? He's not Is a friend. Is that so? He's definitely not a friend. Marjorie expects us at the throne room. We don't want to be late. You can tell me all about this Lord Tarwick on the way. Well, if you really want to know. First of all, his name's Garibald, and he has this really funny accent. He told me the cleverest story about this festival they have. When they sell. And so I've given the musicians a list of songs to play for Joffrey at the feast. Yeah. I assume you have no problems with the reigns of Castamere? I trust you've chosen all the standards. But just to be sure, I'll draw up a list of wedding ballads we favor in Highgarden. Your Grace, my lady. Which reminds me, Joffrey will require his King's Guard close at hand during the feast. I'm afraid we'll have no room for your handmaidens. <gasps> but we- What was that? Do you object? Is that what I heard? I, uh, If you're going your to Grace, speak out of turn, girl, I... you should finish what you start. Your Grace, we must do as Our Lady commands us. If Marjorie has need of us during the wedding, the then... The King's safety is more important than straightening your lady's gown. Really? I Why asked your handmaiden here at the Iron Throne, whom she would serve if forced to choose between yourself and the King. She said she'd serve the King, yet now she puts your needs first. I'm surprised you'd let such swings of loyalty go unchecked. In any case, it's settled. The King's Guard will stay with Joffrey. Your handmaidens will sit elsewhere. Of course, Your Grace. Anything for my beloved Joffrey. Lady Marjorie, we may not see eye to eye on everything, but I hope you will at least agree with me that our handmaidens should know their place. And that place is not with my brother, Tyrion. So rude, Cersei. What did she mean by that? You and Tyrion? What you do reflects on me. If something's going on, I need to know about it. I... I haven't done anything wrong, my lady. That's not how it seemed. Queen Cersei so made rude. it seem like much more than that. Well, Sarah, an what do you know of this? I couldn't say, my lady. She's as much a mystery to me as she is to you. What am I to think, Mira? I've only ever tried to help you. Why are you making trouble for me? The There's Queen was just trying to, to upset you. There's nothing to tell. I don't have the time or patience for your games, Mira. Right now, I need you both to be my handmaidens, and that's all I need you to be. Why am I even in King's Landing? Let there be no mistake. If I hear of you speaking so much as a word to Tyrion Lannister again, you can go home to your family. Okay. Glad to be out of the place. I'm only trying to help my family. You would do the same for yours. Please don't send me home. This can't no, do happen send me home. again. Do send me home, please. I don't want to be here. Roderick. Roderick, it's the White Hills. They're assembling in the courtyard. Why? Why are they? They've woken the house. You can't let this go on. What in damnation are they doing? They just showed up here, started banging their shields. I'll need my sentinel. Go ahead, Talia, and have Royland beat me in the courtyard. 
What are they doing? Let's find out what they're doing. What is this? It's a parade of dead men if I have my way. I mean, we could kill them. <laughs> what is the meaning of this? I demand to know. <laughs> Madman. Those are strong words. For a cripple who can't carry a sword. All of you. Show your respect to Griff Whitehill, fourth no. born son of Lord Ludd Whitehill and commander of this garrison. No. Cocky no, Roderick, we used to call you. Swinging your prick round, lording it over my family. Now look at you. Hey? Roderick the Ruined. I hardly recognize you. But the name fits, don't it? Get your men out of my sight. This is absurd. That sounds like the old Roderick. Beating his chest every chance he got. I don't think he gets it. Oh, no, sorry. Lord. I don't think he does. Your brother Ethan didn't get it either. You bite your tongue. I am in charge now. No, you're not. And the first thing you need to know is that if I am not happy, no one is happy. So my men are taking over your great hall. That's where we'll quarter from now on. No. What? You can't. You'll have to go through me. I won't have my men sleeping out in your barn in shit and filth. I don't care if you're happy or not. You'll quarter where I tell you. I wasn't fucking asking, Roderick. And what's more, you will treat my men right. I've heard what you've done. And if they're eating wormy bread, then your people better be eating shit off the ground. I'm not here to keep them in line. I'm here to keep you in line. We've given your men the wine they want. They drink too much of it, that's their doing. Watch yourself, Roderick. <laughs> this is against the King's law. You've no right to make such demands. I have every right. We're here under the orders of Roos Bolton, Warden of the North. So I will be in your halls. I will be in your courtyard. I will sit on your fucking council and be in your bedchambers if I bloody well please. You can't no. do this, little bastard. You can't just do... You're mad, Griff. This is my house, and you will do as I say. Why should I listen to some cripple with half a face? Now, because I'll get my me and my you. men will take our place in your hall. Unless you think you and your army can stop me. We'll stop you. No. You know better than that. You know where we we'll This is outrageous. You can't go in there. We can and we will. Unless you want this all to end right now. Eh? Yes. I'm the only lord here. Come on. Whoa. Okay. That is... That is so... I hate him so much. I'm going to kill him first chance again. Griff White. That's not those fourth born. Parading in here like a conquering fucking hero. It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof, soiling our house. I know you tried to stop them, my lord. But we can only take this occupation for so long. Our people will break. And the way Griff Whitehill came in, whether he rides out on horseback or ends up in the ground, Griff Whitehill won't be here long. I'll see to it. Very good, my lord. But Griff Whitehill isn't the beginning of our troubles, or the end of them. We need to look at all the pieces. Whitehill men aren't just in our house. They've raided our lands, burnt farms and cut down our trees. All the way from here to High Point. How do we kill a snake, then? By smashing its head. Griff is in the head. It's his father. Perhaps. But Griff is here. 
We have access to him. And they have Ryan. I don't care about Ryan. We need to kill his son. Or torture him. Send piece by piece. In the post. If there he is carved post. these soldiers himself. I don't yeah, care I, I what don't care, Lady. Whitehill may have told you at the funeral. Who knows what horrors they're putting him through? Held prisoner at High Point. You can't forsake his safety. Yes, I can. But we have to do something. My lord, at least give us a target to aim for. So what? Expel Griff or save Ryan? Expel Griff. We have to push Griff and his soldiers out of Ironrath. They're the most immediate threat. But Roderick, what of Ryan? If you move against Griff, who knows what those wretches will do to my son? Speak true. Would you give up this house? But your brother? We must secure Ironrath so we have a home to bring Ryan back to. Don't forget him. I might forget him. It's decided. Maybe. We take back our home. We lost most of our men with Gregor at the Twins. We can probably gather another 30 or 40 men. But the Whitals are already fortified inside Ironrath. Thankfully, Roderick secured an alliance with the Glenmores. But those forces mean nothing until after the marriage. That means we have to count on Asher and Mira. How? Asha means to sail home from Essos with a company of hardened cell swords. No, but that's not But they're not happening. bannermen. We'll need to pay them for it. Which is why Mira's part to play is just as crucial. She can get us the coin we need in King's Landing. You don't imagine we have the luxury of waiting for them. Asha and Mira are a long way from here. I have faith in my children. I don't think Lord Vital will kindly stand by while we pull ourselves together. We press on. It's no use waiting. We have a plan, my lord. But we must wait for the pieces to come together. The White Hills aren't ready for war. It won't be long before you're able to take action yourself. Well, one way or another, there's a fight brewing. So I have much to prepare. And men to train. My lord? Let's prepare. Get that bastard out of... Whatever the place is called. <clears throat> is it Whitehall? No, no, that's My the Lord, place. There may be something we can do now. A voice from High Point, Gwyn Whitehill. I spoke with her at the funeral. As did I, and she's willing to meet. Away from her father's guards. I may not be your sentinel, but please consider this. It would be wise to hear what she has to say. Wait, I wasn't paying attention. I understand your hesitation. Arrange a meeting. What she has to say may prove useful. I believe she can be trusted. But best use caution nonetheless. Of course. And I'll make sure no one else knows. For now at least. Good. Handle things right with Gwyn. And she may even help us in High Point. When the time comes. Okay. Thank you.